Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. I'm Anaya from the Thunderbirds. And I'm Ashley from the Olympians. It's December 8th. And the Purple Day. Now let's pass it on over to the Fledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Nella and Cal, for the pledge. Listen up, choir members. The concert is tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. All are invited. It's free. All choir members be there at 6.30 to warm up. If you would like to order your yearbook, order now at www.balfour.com. The deadline is January 15th. Now to the weather with flesh. Smile. It's just those rainy days. Plaza Middle School, how are you doing on this very cold and frigid Thursday morning? Let's get into my sports trivia. And last week, I apologize, I did not let you know who won before I left, so I've got my phone in hand. Hopefully that will remind me that I need to check to see who is the winner. So, this weekend, we have the Heisman Trophy presentation to the top D1 college football player. Primarily, that is went to quarterbacks running backs, those really fun, skilled players. However, there has been some defensive players that have won it in the past, and so that is my question for you this morning. Um, because Jabar Jabril Peppers of Michigan primarily plays on defense, and he's a Heisman Trophy finalist. So, how many in the years past primarily defensive players have won the Heisman Trophy? Zero, one, two, or three? Shoot me those emails and I will do my best to let you know before I leave on who has won. All right, let's get into those chilly conditions. It is currently 17 degrees. My goodness, look at that feels like spot there on the screen. Four degrees. It is very cold. I slept in a sweatshirt and sweats last night and was perfect. It was nice and cozy and snuggly. It is not going to get very high, uh, very warm today. 21 is the high. Low tonight is nine degrees. So put those blankets on the bed and get warm. Uh, looking into the weekend, 30 degrees tomorrow, uh, upper 30s for Saturday and Sunday, and into next week it is not going to be much better. Low 30s to upper 20s for highs. So be dressed appropriately. I already talked to one of my home base students for wearing shorts because it feels like it's 4 degrees outside. So dress appropriately for that bus stop or just in general, like Dr. Abby said, we may be outside for an evacuation drill and if you're in shorts, you are gonna hate that decision to wear shorts on a day like today. All right, birthdays. Uh, I'm gonna butcher that. Galena of the Novas, um, Ella of the Legends, Emily C of the Novas, and Darian of the Thunderbirds. If I pronounced any of those names wrong, my apologies. Make sure you get that birthday pencil and today is National Brownie Day. I like brownies. So, National Brownie Day. Have a brownie today at lunch if they've got that. Uh, birthday pencil is eating Doritos. Another one of my favorites. My students are always getting on me because I eat Doritos in front of them. And so, of course, today the weather is brought to you by the Doritos Company. I believe that's Frito Lays. And joke of the daytime. 
Why couldn't the pirate learn the alphabet? Girls, you got an idea? Because he could only say yar. Because he, he, was, he lost. was lost at sea. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, all right. I don't think we had a birthday phone call today, but if we did, I missed it. All right. So let's see who is correct here. I've got 27 emails. Oh, I missed it, but the uh, announcers here told me there was a birthday pencil there. Uh, she was eating Doritos. <laughs> you said it. I didn't say it. Okay, be quiet. Uh, the correct answer was <coughs> one. So I'm looking for B. The only other, the only defensive player ever to win it was Charles Woodson, I believe, back in 1997. And the first correct answer goes to Sydney Roberson of the Olympians. B was the correct answer. One, maybe Jabril Peppers will win this weekend. Probably not, but at least he's a finalist. All right, my time here, I believe, is done. And, okay, birthday pencils, eating Doritos. Fine. You guys, I'm out of here. I'm tired of you all. Plaza, stay classy. We'll see you. Thank you, Mr. Fleshman, for those announcements. Today for lunch, we have crazy cheesy bread. And turkey pot pie with homemade cinnamon roll. A premium meal spicy chicken filet sandwich. First, let's drop a marble in the jar. Please join us in our sign-off. It's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a tiger. tiger.